February in Prince Rupert is usually an exciting time, as First Nations basketball teams from British Columbia and Alaska come to compete in the All-Native Basketball Tournament. But this year, for the first time since it began in 1960, there won't be a tournament, due to safety concerns surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. For Indigenous basketball players, the cancellation was sad news. Mariah Ganu plays on Gitwin Silk's women's team, and she turned her feelings about the cancellation into a TikTok. I'm fine. <laughs> really? Absolutely. I was pretty disappointed. You know, it's like my favorite time of the year. Like I said, just to like see all old my old friends and then playing against different teams outside of our northern area. Chester Monroe from Noah Anch's Masters team was also saddened by the tournament's cancellation. Kind of sucks for everybody because you see everybody's posts all over Facebook and how much they're missing the, the atmosphere of all native and how much that uh, brought everyone together through sports, uh, culture, and the atmosphere is just uh, amazing to be around so many, so many other First Nations people. Last year's tournament was a high point for Monroe, as New Ianch's Masters team managed to win their division. The 2020 tournament was also memorable for Skidigat player Jesse Barnes, who was named tournament MVP after his team won the Seniors Division Championship. It gives people an opportunity to represent their nation, and um, not only that, but there's, there's a cultural aspect of thing that goes on as well in the, in the auditorium every year where people sell jewelry and artwork and different kinds of kinds of food so i mean it's really big it's really big. it's really big and uh it's just uh disappointing that it's not happening this year but arnie bellis the coach for old Mastet's masters team said that although it's sad the tournament isn't happening it's more important to be safe it'll happen again I'm, you know i guarantee that missing a year or missing two years for as that's what we have to do we do it but i know there's going to be a tournament at some point down the road eh Bellis added that when the next tournament is held, he would like to see a couple days of celebration before the games begin. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Joshua Azizi.